Good evening, friends. This is Sister Gwendolyn Song from the USA. My spouse and I are here in Nairobi, Kenya, just for a couple weeks to do some evangelism work for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And you know, immediately upon arrival, the Lord began speaking to me a very stern warning for the nation of Kenya. It's a very serious wake-up call for the nation of Kenya and to those who are here who are striving to make heaven as well as those who are preparing for the coming of the Messiah. And I'm going to read uh, the words from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and then after that I'll immediately go into the other parts of the prophecy. Rats, rats, and more rats, says the Lord of Heaven's armies. There will be an invasion and a severe infestation of rats coming upon the nation of Kenya during the tribulation era. This infestation of rats will be so catastrophic that as the children of God are sleeping, they will be sharing close quarters with a multitude of rats. They will be competing for basic resources of food and water with the rats, and the aggressiveness of these rodents will be unprecedented. To my beloved friends in the nation of Kenya, the Lord would like for me to speak to you on his behalf about the condition of the churches in Kenya. There is an appearance of holiness, but in your hearts you are very far from the Lord. You speak of righteousness and holiness, and yet the women continue to dress as though they are serving the king of darkness, and the men are very preoccupied with earthly gadgets. The Lord would like for each of his children in the nation of Kenya to come to him individually, reverently, and inquire of their rapture readiness. The heart is deceiving above all things, friends. Who can search the deeper issues of the heart except the Lord of heaven's host? Who can know the true motives of the heart and the issues that lie therein? Only the Lord, only the creator of the human heart can scan the hearts of all, of all mankind and decide if they are ready for his blessed coming. Now, why does the nation of Kenya matter to the Lord? What is so unique about this land of the wild beast of the field, the land of the lions and the hyenas and the water buffalo? Because the Lord has ordained Kenya to be his mighty starting point for his end times harvest. He has picked this nation to lead the nations of the earth towards preparing for his coming. And it is here where the Lord will begin to clean up his churches first by calling them to intense fasting and prayer. Hallelujah. This is the nation of many prophets and many miracles, and he's going to be putting a spotlight on particular servants here who have dedicated their lives to a certain time period, the time period of the tribulation. The Lord is going to gather these end time workers together and begin sending them across the globe as a unit of ferocious lions, tearing down the strongholds of the enemy. Hallelujah. You know, it's the Lord God Almighty who will do this, friends. It will not be an orchestrated effort of men. It's the Lord of the harvest who will bring these servants together by the might of his right righteous hand. Nation of Kenya, prepare for the coming of the Lord by seeking the face of your King, King Yeshua, King Jesus. Please go to him and him alone, inquiring of your readiness to enter the kingdom of God and not to men. Do not go to your pastor, the Lord said. Do not go to your bishop seeking information about your rapture readiness. Do not inquire of prophets or seers on the internet. No, 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 says the Lord of heaven's armies. Go directly to the groom himself, King Jesus. He will speak to your hearts individually on his own because he is the only one. He is the one who has designed the human heart with his bare hands. Hallelujah. Friends, listen, there will be a severe economic collapse in the nation of Kenya prior to the coming of the Lord. 
churches will need to band together and feed their flocks. Listen to what the spirit of the living God has to say to the nation of Kenya. The pastors and the elders will need to roll up their sleeves and feed large crowds of people. They will need to be prepared for this season to bring the Lord's end time messages to the masses. The message of love, which is truly the message of charity. The message of sharing your possessions in order to enter into the Lord's eternal kingdom. The messages of rejecting the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Friends in Kenya, water will be the most precious resource of the hour, and the churches will be responsible for the distribution of water. The police and military will be on hand. Yes, they will to keep peace and order. But above all, above all else, it's the perfect peace of the Lord Jesus Christ that will prepare the masses for his glorious arrival in the skies. Kenya, get ready. Get your spiritual houses in order today. This message is signed from the King of Glory himself, King Yeshua, the one who died on the cross for our sins, the eternal hope, the only true friend that Kenya will have in the end.